Hi guys. Um, welcome back to Tira Gitana. Um, my name is Abby. I am the creator of Tira Gitana. Um, this is going to be the second video in my astro series focusing on the energy of each season. Um, last season, obviously, it was Aries season, so I did the Aries video focusing on the motto, the mantra, um, the energy, and like the theme of um, what the season energy brings in every single time. I'm only gonna do this series one time. This series one time because it applies to every single year. Um, so this time it is Taurus season. Um, so I'm gonna try to keep this video semi shorter than the Aries video. Um, so Taurus's mantra is "I have." That's really what the energy of Taurus season is. Is kind of taking a look of where the areas that you are stable. Um. And it's really like, okay, well, you just went on this journey of I am, but now what do you actually have after you've become all these things, after you achieved all these things, after you, after you have made yourself all these things, um, what do you have um, to show for yourself? What do you have um, to go back to? What are you grounded back to? Um, it really brings in that really earthy grounding energy. Uh, very quickly when it comes to Taurus energy is very loving, very stubborn, <laughs> very much. I just want to like cuddle um, and do all the things. Um, it's very much that way. Um, it really does. It's it's a, it's a great season because it really focuses. I'm sorry, my eye is itching. It really focuses on what we have and kind of really, really taking a look and being appreciative of what we have in a non-obnoxious way I want to say because uh, there's a lot of people that like to live in the negative side and just don't want to be grateful for what they have what they have achieved where they are now how lucky they've gotten whatever the case may be um and just like you know want to focus on the negatives pessimist versus, versus optimist but tour season is really about that comfort that you get from the things that you have also how you get what you have had um it almost like in a way feels like a retrograde on its own just be but it's not like an like a painful one it's just like oh my god look of where i'm at look at it's really like a place to look at okay this is this is you know astrological year just started this is currently where i'm at um i do i have all these things as well which is great but this is currently where i'm at and i'm just seeing how i'm gonna move from there as well um, so in the path through the astrological signs, um, cause again, you're still kind of on this journey that Aries takes you through and then like Taurus just kind of grounds you back to the ground, kind of calms the fire a little bit and lets you relax, lets you eat by the fire, lets you like get water, maybe get some berries or something, like do something kind of almost luxurious or something that's not... Because if you think about, like, Aries being the one that goes on and the adventure and kind of unlocks the other signs, then that's kind of what Aries would end up having to go through eventually. You would have to kind of slow down, eat, pause, relax, take a break, rest, recharge the fire batteries. Um, so with Taurus being a fixed sign, um, so fixed energy, very comfort, comfort energy, like comfortable um really just want to chill like very much uh very social very social energy very chill energy very kind of gathering energy um sharing with other people so for that like tour season is really about enjoying spring for what it is um as the season kind of comes in and the um leaves starts changing colors and all the flowers are growing again and you're like looking at what you have where you've gone um how, where you're going how the summer is gonna be like you're really kind of in this really comfortable place so the energy of it is very venus like it's very much um comfort and grounded and like luxurious and i want to look cute and um really doing all the things um so focusing on this really like I have, what do I have? Whether it's like emotional peace, whether it's like material abundance, whether it's monetary, whether it's like spiritual abundance. So whatever it is that you have or you need to focus on that you have, because a lot of the time, especially as like, you know, 
as brujas, we focus a lot on manifesting things into our lives. But it's also important to take time to pause, reflect, and be like, oh my god, look of all the stuff I've manifested from the last time that I've been, you know, <laughs> doing all this stuff. Um, so it's really about being grateful in a sense. Um, but it's really about taking that journey in the first place. Like, you wouldn't have these things if you didn't, like, put yourself out there and take the chance to do it in the first place. Um, so that's kind of really the whole general energy of the month of Taurus. Um, it's not heavily, like, Taurus, energy Taurus season is not really, like, a testy season. It's not really, like, oh my god, you know. I mean, there's negative aspects and we are I, I am going to talk about um shadow astrology and uh really the shadow sides of each sign in in regards to how it falls in your placements of your planets and the chart i'm just talking about the monthly general energy and how that can affect you um and really what the vibe is but for the most part when it comes to it being in your chart and reflecting in a negative way because it could be like oh my god you're so stubborn and that could be because depending on where like really the earth signs period wherever they reflect in your chart will make you stubborn in whatever area they're in so it kind of is interesting to know how the energies play off but for the most part the energy of the, pl the of the month will kind of also affect where it is on your um in your planets and everything, in your transits, it is going to affect that as well. So it's interesting to kind of play with the energy. I have Taurus in the 10th house. So um, I know that Taurus season is going to be a fun for me just because I'm still uh, working and still uh doing all the things. But I feel like it's like Taurus is also a very hardworking sign because in order to have what they have, in order to be able to be the, the, the mantra of I have to have that energy they have to work for it. they they're very hard workers um very stable they like their positions they like I mean it's like that fixed energy so um I know this is gonna be like a keeping it stable keeping it steady um season for me because this is my 10th house it's a fun time um I do love Taurus energy I love working with like that Venus energy um and just like manifesting through it as well it's great um really great time um every time there's like an earth sign season to work with like herbs uh work with like uh even when it comes to like different types of earth magic crystal magic crystal healing um so many things um that you can do you can even like go camping um you can do like go to, just go to the ocean because even that in connection is always like the sand will always be the earth part uh and then you have that combination of water and water and uh, earth are like really co compatibility wise they're really great because it's a nurturing aspect you know I water you you water water me type of thing so it's always like really interesting um, to kind of just play on those energies so great time to work with herbs great time to do a lot of earth magic even though it it would be slow and manifesting that's not the point the point is. I mean, it will manifest at a point. Like, if you're working on whatever magic and you, you do it steadily, it's really, like, building up on it. Um, and earth signs are nothing if not persistent, all of us. Um, we can be stubborn, but just because we know what we want or we're... It's just because we know. <laughs> it's, just really, it's, a, it's a funny type of uh, knowing. Um... But yeah, so definitely working with a lot of different earth elements would be really good. Um, even if it's just crystals or something something like that um, would be really cool. Um, and just like working with Venus, if you wanted to do that, you could. There's so many. There's so much stuff to do, especially for spring. Like so much stuff is growing. Um, great time to just learn something new. Um, add stuff to your like mental bank. Uh, and. Uh, kind of expand and really really kind of treat yourself for t taking the opportunity to be so leveled and be on a high because the earth signs were always like really rewarding ourselves I feel like Virgo does this probably the least um because they're more like in service to other people a good amount of the time but for the most part earth signs we love to treat ourselves um so treat yourself 
you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Treat yourself. I mean, Taurus season is very much like a very like, I'm gonna just walk into Chanel and buy me something. That's really, this <laughs> is how I feel. You know what I mean? Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. Like, it's very, you should always treat yourself. Like, after you've done the work and you've earned your stuff and, you know, you're comfortable, do do you. You know what I mean? There's going to be areas, the rest of, there's going to be parts of the year where we're going to have to, like, struggle with me here and there. But it's okay to be a little bit stubborn. If you see yourself being a little bit more stubborn than you should be, definitely work on that. I mean, there's definitely signs when you're working more towards the darker side of like the shadow side of each sign which again we're going to talk about in a separate series that is going to come um so there's definitely signs of that um but as an overall sun energy being there it's, it's a great energy to work with um so yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um the uh, gemini one will be up when gemini season is here um which is gonna be fun my moon is in gemini so it's it's always, gemini season is always like a just always feels like my I'm everywhere like my head is everywhere everything's everywhere <laughs> um so that should be fun so that should be up when Gemini season is here and um yeah there's gonna be more videos coming up as well so stay tuned and yeah have a good day